And the final semi-final matchup, it's the Cavaliers and the Celtics. And before I talk about that game, uh, congrats to the Cavaliers for winning game 7. Donovan Mitchell scored 17 in the third quarter. Max Drew scored 11 for the game. Sam Merrill helped them cut an 18-point lead in the second quarter. Paolo Banquero went off for 38 and 15. Franz Wagner was utter trash in game seven. And yeah, congrats to the Cavs. This is their first series win without LeBron since 93. Their first series, series win since 2018. With that being said, Celtics and six. <laughs> But look, even though it's Celtics and six, uh, the Celtics still don't have Kristaps Porzingis. The Cavs may not have Jared Allen for this series. Look, Donovan Mitchell is banged up. That whole Cavs team is banged up from a grueling seven-game series with the Magic, while the Celtics are well rested by because of beating the Heat in five. But the salt, but the Cavs do have guys that used to be, that used to play for the Jays, with the Jays, Marcus Morris Senior, Tristan Thompson, and of course, the Celtics will also face one of the Celtic killers, Max Trus. <laughs> but the Celtics are just simply the better team. They got the guys to neutralize. Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland and Derek White and Drew Holiday. For the Cavs though, they gotta put Evan Mobley and Tatum and maybe one of the veterans on Hal Horford. Maybe Okoro on Jalen Brown, but I really don't like the Cavs' chances in this one into winning this series. I slightly like their bench better though. I just trust Levert, Niang, like I said, Marcus Morris Sr., Sam Merrill over Sam Hauser and Peyton Pritchard. Okay. So yes, Celtics in six. I think Donovan Mitchell wins them a game or two, but that's about it. See ya.